haven't played against Twisted Ezreal in a little while. It's been a while. Alright, Hush is definitely gone. I think I'm going to mulligan Bark Beast as well. That thing dies very easily to make a rain, Static Shock, that kind of stuff. Thresh has a lot of health, I like that. Solari Soldier also has a lot of health. I like that too. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Oh, Raise your weapons, Sunwood. I suppose we just trade one drops. Punish transgressions. Say your farewell. Not my favorite. What's up, Curse Keeper? The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Oh, you aren't expecting callers. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. All right, draw two while they're tapped out. Sure. A couple of good cards. We'll take them. So of course, going right to attacks. All right, <laughs> so I was planning on going right to attacks, so then it got slowed down, had to hit the brakes. Um, so I could Vile Feast Ezreal and then Blighted Caretaker. I guess the upside, the upside of that is just too high. My, my plan was going to be just attack and then play the Solari Priestess. Um. Yeah, that's unfortunate they didn't let me do this. This is still me having the exact same number of cards in hand as they do. I have one extra card in hand. That's worth it. Watch and learn. Nailed it. Gosh, these are both pretty good. The Warrior, the Obliterate, the Traveler. Traveler's not bad either. Uh, get to invoke another card. Maybe I just go the Traveler. No, I should probably just take one of these things that removes Ezreal. It's just like removing Ezreal with a six mana card is a feels bad. Bask in her radiant blessing. Glad I didn't just take the Obliterate card, because we just drew an, one of those. Drew an Obliterate. We'll lead a Solari Soldier, because, you know, we can see whether we want to play Thrash or the Warrior. Safety will cost you. So they missed. They have a PNZ card. Going Thrash, because if they have Thermogenic Beam, does not kill Thrash. Thermogenic Beam will kill the Warrior. Devotion to battle. I don't think it makes sense to just butcher the Blighted Caretaker. I was thinking about it. I don't think it makes sense to do that. Ezreal's at 4 out of 10, and one Ezreal down. Feeling pretty good about this game about now.
This will refill my spell mana, but I won't be able to play the warrior. Still definitely worth it. And of course, I behold this celestial car they can't do anything about. Unless they just go like fast speed slide of hand. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll just end around and have you waste all that mana. But yeah, a deck that's built on doing lots of small damage, like this one that we're playing against. I feel pretty good about giving all of my units for the rest of the game, plus two, plus two. If they start doing some damage to this thing, we can start shaping and heal it. And call me a shark. Alright. Am I gonna vengeance that thing? So basically, I don't want to play Blighted Caretaker to block it. And they just have something that does 3 damage, which is very easy for them to have. So they have something that does 3 damage, they kill this, now they get to attack for 7. Um... You know, I, I just don't want that to happen. I don't want to take like that risk, that seven damage. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> Man, imagine if Aurelian Soul dies here, and then we just rekindle her right back. They could have like Parlay plus Thermogenic Beam and kill it. I could Ravenous Butcher my Aurelian Soul. What's up, Kordak? Yeah. I do love an audience. <laughs> yeah, this is your deck here. This is Hecarim with Targon. We're calling it. Uh... Oh, I have it still labeled as Celestial Hes. Hecarim. We had a lot cooler name for that. I forgot. I forgot to change it up here. Centaurus. Alright, what are they doing? Make it rain? Yeah, you can make it rain. Go ahead. I kind of want to Ravenous Butcher it. That's so... Is that greedy to just go Ravenous Butcher? I really want to. Alright, we're... I'm just gonna do it. I mean, how often do we get to Ravenous Butcher and Aurelian Soul? I mean, yeah, I should pass. Oh yeah, they're gonna Riptide Rex. That's a good call. They're probably gonna Riptide Rex. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay. I just want to rekindle her back a really soul. Like that's all I want to do. We each die, then found hope. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. So that's 18 power right now. I need 20 to level up, so we'll, like, Pale Cascade. So that'll be 20. Yeah, now we butcher a really insult. game's kind of over. Kind of over. Deal me in. Soak it in. So we want to play these other Celestials first before these, to, so they can pump up more. Which I guess I should have led with Solari Priestess this turn. But I didn't. Alright, Rekindler, Aurelian Soul. That's a combo. 
Victory today. What do you want, puppy? You want to come up here? Hmm? Oh. You're going to help us for our 5 up pup? Alright. We're playing against Gen Fiora. Let's keep these three. Draw one drop. Oh, never mind. We'll keep them all. Draw the one drop. Katarina could be nice. Good card against Fleet Feather Tracker. Could be nice. Maybe I just don't even play the Young Witch right now. It is quite vulnerable. By my honor, you must die. I think that should work. Awesome. Thirsty Fern, a brand new tier one sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. Show some love for our brand new tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Thirsty Fern. I really appreciate that. I need just a moment. Oh, glory seeker. Update this, our first of the day. Never. I don't know if I should be going Katarina right now. I'm basically going Katarina because it makes the Blade's Edge, because I want to use the Blade's Edge to kill that thing. That's why I'm doing it. But I don't love how we're. I'm basically spending four mana to kill this tracker where I'm not really affecting the board. Maybe this is a bad play. I need to wait till later. I just don't want this Fleet Feather Tracker. And I, like, I don't want to use Culling Strike on the Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, all that kind of stuff. I don't want it to do anything else. I could pass. They waste three mana. They don't get to play something. No, if I didn't have Culling Strike, I may pass. But with having Culling Strike, I think we can go and attack. They'll never know what kills them. I walk the space between worlds. Yeah, Culling Strike for that Shen is really nice. The Kinku. Okay, and we'll pass, because otherwise I play something and they challenge my smaller thing. That I play. Let's see. Young Witch. Lead with you. So they're going to go Barrier card. Yeah, they, they're definitely just going to use Barrier here. You're mine. What if I put the Young Witch on the Swole Squirrel? This way. Oh. So Transfusion does seven, 7 damage to them. Pass turn back to me. Guess the answer is no. Okay, that answer is yes. So single combat and concerted strike are gonna be what we have to worry about. This is kind of a tough turn. Exactly what we want to do. I just go for the win or not. The problem is, is if this doesn't work. I am one with the land. That's where the problem comes in. No going back. Blood for Noxus. Alright, that should be lethal. 
There we go, GG's. Wow. 5 and 0, oh, fought through some spirit refuges there. Bronze and iron look like the same, and like you have those and gold, and it's, it's hard to know exactly where you are. Okay, you think you're in platinum, but not sure. Yeah, maybe you are. Maybe you're in diamond. Maybe you're in platinum. Tough to know. All right, Maokai Nautilus. Um, so we're going to be going assembly bot with. Maybe we just mulligan these spells. I mean, I like the Bastion quite a bit to stop a vengeance. But maybe we don't need that for a while. Let's see if we can get some puff caps or some earlier stuff. Cool, because we're going to want to find elusiveness, right? Like, that's that's going to be very important, is having elusive assembly bots. If I had that Pill Cascade in hand, I would have not played the Teemo turn one. I would have played it turn two. And so would have had that as protection against a Vile Feast. Where we would have been able to draw a card also. Alright, that 3-2 Lifesteal is going to be annoying. I'm not blocking it. They're only healing their Nexus for one currently. I want to play this before combat because I want to turn on my Pill, pill Cascade in case we need it. Alright, Pill Cascade turned on. kill this thing now. Do I want to go Sun Blessed Vigor on an assembly bot and block? I guess we could do that. Should I be playing Vi? Uh, maybe not. Do need to get this lifesteal thing out of here. Gonna have Vi challenge Abyssal Eye. The Blessed Isles live through me. I tried. Please. This is tough. I want to cha challenge Abyssal Eye. But we also should probably be, ki be killing. Yeah, we gotta kill the Maokai. We just have to kill Maokai. Alright, that's just how it goes. through this 1-4 eventually anyway. Ugh, another 1-4. I assume that's going to take Teemo. Make some pretty big gem assemblers. I think that's a good plan. Into them. So maybe they gotta take a gem assembler. No, yep, they're still taking Teemo. So we could go Peddler right now and then untap and then play all these gems, grow all these things. Give them three puff caps for each one. I 
think that's my plan. There was a little fella asking for me. So I have I have six gems. So that would be 18 puff caps, and that would be plus six to all of these things. If I play Teemo, what's the worst that they play? They play Devour of Depths. That's the worst thing they could play. Devour Adepts is not going to be deep, so it would it would take out like my peddler. Oh, I guess they could have ruination. That is that is an option. All right, so what if we just attack them? and we challenge? Oh no, leave this alive. Then. They have my timers going down even though I'm playing stuff. I have to wait for the animations. I can't I can't play any faster. Give me a break. Okay. Some big old bots. I really like that Pale Cascade draw so that Grasp the Undying, we still have that. Alright, so that's lethal. How does this do against the Trundle deck? Not too bad. Because you can give, you can make like a big gem assembler and then have elusive. One thing you gotta watch for, like hush, hush is a card that that hurts us quite a bit, as you can probably imagine. All right, they had vengeance, so we play on. Justice. Us playing on is going to have shards of that was pretty sweet though. Us playing on is going to be us having a leveled up Vi and a 9 9 and an 11 9 and a 9 2 to their zero cards. It'll be us playing on. What I'm saying is we're still in a pretty good spot. So they want to go jettison and attack with this thing? It's how we lose is jettison atrocity. <laughs> if they have jettison atrocity, we can lose. How are we down to 12? I'm going to take that much damage already. More for my collection! I want to play this Pill Cascade right now just to draw a card. I know, right? Puff caps are so much fun. Their only way to lose is if they have Jettison Atrocity. It looks like they do. Dive I don't have anything that stops this, do I? How do? How am I down at twelve? Guiding touch! Let's go!
They did the juicy thing. We're juicy, the juicy back. Negative 38. There we go. Guiding at touch. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta live with the Wayfinder misses. Um, <laughs> whenever I was playing this way back in the day, I had... I had, I think I started with like it being 2020, like basically half PNZ, half Ionia, and it would just be, I would hit, I'd hit Wayfinder half of the time, and I'd just understand that it'll only be hitting it half of the time. Um, and then, you know, it went down to probably like, like 12, 9, 12 PNZ cards, because I wanted Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam, and, you know, I wanted removal like that and play more of a control deck. All right, so Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I don't feel like I need Key Guardian. Um, kind of don't really love these cards. Like we have, I guess I'm gonna just keep Lee Sin and Deep Meditation. I should probably just be keeping Deep Key Guardian. I want to find Wayfinder. That's what I want to find. Eye of the Dragon is a card that I would normally be keeping most of the time, but not against like Trundle or Rillian Soul. It's just a deck that's gonna be going so big and just didn't feel like that card would be necessary because they'll just go way way bigger than eye of the dragon is. so pretty awkward finding all of our cards to have four like all of our cards having four being four mana here just finding only chump lumps to go with lee sin it's pretty awkward that we just drew three chump lumps that's how it goes Force is meaningless without skill. All right, so how are we going to do this? Make way for trolls. Alright, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the Chump Wump Challenger And then Pump Pump Lee Sin Chump Wump Challenge here, Lee Sin Challenge here Awesome That worked out pretty well That is true, the re Retreat does work with Kiku Wayfinder, being able to put that back in your hand if you miss. Good call. Another Key Guardian. Conflict is all in the mind. I will not hold back. I don't know what that that GG thing was. I don't know if they're not saying it's the game's already over. So four spells. I want to level up Lee Sin. No, Timo. I didn't notice I had ten. Uh, that's my bad, Timo. That is quite sad. That is quite sad. I'll see this through. I will not hold back. My lands need me. So that's six. Choose the right time to strike. And the dragon that is quite will. sad. Yeah, that, that's my plan for next turn is like the Dawn and Dusk on the level of Lee Sin. Yeah, that does sound really, that does sound pretty awesome. Um, I assume we have a couple Will of Ionias in here, right? Nope, no Will of Ionia. While we're playing 
three. Yeah, serve your king. We're playing three Concussive Palm and no Will of Ionia. Will of Ionia is probably a better card, isn't it? Like we need to just be able to bounce this infinite mind splitter. I got ways to find me the barrier doesn't matter because of the Tark has the Tri Bliss. I'll knock him down. They're not, not attacking with Tarkaz. I will not hold back. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Conflict is all in the mind. Ying Yue, you've been in my thoughts. Oh, Lee, you always did think too much. That's true. Retreat can revive Palm. We can't get rid of anything. I think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Dawn and Dusk on the stunned Lee Sin does not work. Grasping claws. That is not a good idea. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Hold still. You need to clear out room. Killing them. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. So we got them thirty puff caps because of um, because of our chump lumps. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Yeah, we need to have... Okay, we need to find a retreat for Lee. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver! Breathe in, breathe out. Like, our board doesn't... It's, our board doesn't... Like, we don't have enough room for, like, those Eye of the Dragons and... And everything, and then we're supposed to dawn and dusk and wayfinder. We don't have enough room for any of this stuff. Right, sir. One smack will do. You cannot escape. Uh. That'll give me some room. We at least draw a new Lisa in now. Yeah, that's what, so my plan is to Wayfinder and then have Deny back up. Stop healing your Nexus so much. We have the Trickster, of course, that can block. So they do have two Celestial, or like, they can do the whole, like, if you behold a Celestial card kind of stuff. They can do all that now. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Need to get rid of all this stuff in hand. It's another kind of bad part about Concussive Palm being that 3-2 body. It's just, it's just another card that clogs up space. All right, that Lee Sin draw was very good. So I kind of want them to have like the 9 mana obliterate two things or something. Yeah, 8 mana. Something that costs a ton of mana. For us to deny. That turns on the challenge with Lee Sin now. I'll see this group. Strike firm. Yeah, you never know what hit us. Prepare yourself. Within my grasp. I don't know. I guess you can challenge over here. 
All right, this could work. Yes. Teemo strikes twice. Double, double, go from 25 to 100. Now each card has approximately four puff caps. Pretty easy math there. All right, this could work. That worked out really well. That was a great Lee Sin draw. Our, our last two draws, Deny Lee Sin, were perfect. What's up, Noctis? <laughs> so many dinies. Yeah, the... So we're going to have to... Noctis, tomorrow is going to be a, the next balance patch update where there could be some cards that are going to be changing. That's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, at least that's going to be announced tomorrow and then it'll be implemented on Wednesday. So right now, uh, you know, it's, so it's hard to like recommend decks right now because you know, things may change tomorrow. Um, but besides that, uh, that's too bad. Get out here. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, so I'm gonna need a concussive palm this trundle, aren't I? They brave or stupid. No, okay. I'll knock them dead. Now, besides that, yeah, check out Mobilitics. There has a really good good page of all sorts of stats. If you want to check this out some decks, the very fun. top one, um, and what I would probably recommend is Misfortune at Gangplank with a bunch of burn. Yeah, so we want to block, block, clear up some space. We need to retreat our Lee Sin because the Tarkaz takes out barrier, so Lee Sin would be dying. Oh, I should, I should have done the Tail of the Dragon. I should have done the Retreat first and then Tail of the Dragon, so maybe we wouldn't get this 3-2. So I don't really want that 3-2. Oh, well. The dragon himself. I'd rather have the open space for Dawn and Dusk, but honestly, we probably have to just go to straight to combat. We probably won't be able to play Dawn and Dusk. With Celestial cards. They can obliterate. Unless we draw Deny. If we draw Deny, we can Dawn and Dusk. Oh no, we can't even Dawn and Dusk because the that Dragling. Man, I need to block with that Eye of the Dragon. I do love her audience. Yeah, Sonic Wave was a great draw. Um, let's have... Who wants to be a challenger? I guess... You? No. You. Our enemies cannot hide. <clears throat> you can challenge. Alright, so you attack, you attack, you attack, you attack, you attack. Alright, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing that. Um, who's getting the plus two? I think... Oh, spell shield! I forgot about spell shield. Yuck. All right, I guess you, then. Okay. Well, I didn't get to do the, the resonating strike here. I ran out of time. But I like them being at one. I kind of don't really mind not casting the resonating strike either because having the resonating right eh, having this available was going to be good against like frostbite right so like, if they would have had frostbite cards in hand and they could frostbite teemo lisa and that kind of stuff then i'd be able to resonating strike afterwards in response to that to make sure we still got to hit um so i'm honestly just fine with not casting this resonating strike and opening opening myself up to uh, frostbite, because this game should still just be over. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Um, 23 cards left, 320 puff caps. We got the hits in. Alright, yeah, mushroom prediction time. Annie says six. What do y'all think? How many are they going to draw? I'm going to say they are going to draw... Um... Huh? 
I'm gonna guess 12. I'm gonna just double yours up. Oh, async said 12. We got a couple of 14s. Hard draw at one. We'll have to see. It's just one Teemo against Aurelian Soul and all these Celestials and everything. Can one Teemo handle it? All right, how many puff caps? Hopefully one. Now they'll pay attention. Twelve. That's that's the number I called. I called twelve. Victory called it. The we along the way. Yeah, you can start. You can play ranked as a new player. Definitely, you you should because you're gonna be at the very lowest rank. So you should be playing against a lot of other new players. Also starting out in the lowest rank. So also starting out with the beginning cards like you are. Um, and for the lower ranks, um, you can't lose rank at all. So like if you if you win, you'll gain some rank. If you don't win, you'll stay wherever you just were. So you don't have to worry too much about losing. Okay, for our hand, we're gonna be mulliganing everything. Don't want any of these cards. We want like Remembrance would be the best card to see. Playing against Scouts again, this time with Lucian instead of Quinn. Blinding Assault with Rush could be pretty cool. Just gonna pass turn and see what they do. Push back the darkness. This is actually pretty sweet. I don't know. I should be emoting here. It's pretty juicy. That could be a that could be a play of the week right there. <laughs> that was pretty good. Soldiers to me. Please don't kill my valor. My no. We are going to do it again the next turn. Spirit. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. All right, well, they're, they're recovering from that quite well. Great turn three, great turn four. Fortune. Wow. Yeah, what this is fight for? Fun. looking pretty Most. rough right now for us. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. Just didn't have, don't have, like... Spells to cast for Lee Sin. Too much. They can't kill Lee Sin, can they? I mean, depending if they have something else that does damage. Don't get in my way. Ouch. Honor guide me. Well yeah, I mean. <laughs> That looked great for us after turn two, but then turn three, a Fleet Feather Tracker plus Bright Seal Protector. Turn four, Grizzled Ranger. Turn five, both champions, Lucian, Misfortune. Yuck. Meet them head on. Love ya. All right, well, we will have Genevieve Elmhart. Follow my lead. I basically, I didn't play that spell because I needed the spell mana. Now just hopefully they don't have repost. That's the biggest hope. Jenny. That. All right, good, no repost. Conflict is all in the mind. These woods belong to us. Just kill the solution first. 
This whole quick attack Genevieve Elmhart thing is pretty sweet. Hold nothing back. Center your spirit. I'll just use the Ranger's Resolve give. Um, give my Lee Sin Barrier. And there we go. GG's. Wow. I thank you, Dragon.